In this video, I'm going to talk about print on demand niche marketing, specifically how you can niche down. And I'm going to be using a website here called Everbee. And I'm gonna put a link to it in the video description below. I encourage you to check it out, there's a free trial. The link is an affiliate link, that just means if you click on it and you end up purchasing the subscription, I would receive a small commission. Let's jump in, I'm gonna show you how this actually works. So on the left-hand side, there's a bunch of research tools. You can expand them out here on the left-hand side. And I'm gonna click on product analytics. Now this is tied into Etsy. So you can see here at the top, it says listings analyzed 30 million, almost 31 million. And as I scroll over any of them on the left-hand side, a little window's gonna pop open. And I can click on one. I'm just gonna pick it here at random. Personalized signature. I'm just gonna click on it. Information then populates over on the right hand side. You can see keywords down at the bottom that are used. And this is where things can get confusing for people because they wind up looking at listings that don't really apply to them. So if you're in the print on demand world, for example, a personalized signature necklace may not apply. I can view this right on Etsy by clicking here. So this is gonna open up a new window. You can see it's in 20 plus baskets. So this is a great tool if you're looking at business ideas that are maybe not print on demand, but this one's not really going to apply for us because we're not manufacturing gold plated necklaces in the print on demand world. So great idea, but maybe not for us. So what I'm gonna do is click on the products, the search products window at the top, and I'm gonna type in the word shirt and I'll click search products. Now this is gonna bring us down to about 5.7 million results. That's still a lot of results. Now what you don't want to do is get sucked into things that are trademarked. So for example, there's a Taylor Swift friendship bracelet. I would totally stay away from that because it might be trademarked with Taylor Swift. Disney family shirts, for example. Not a great idea if you, unless you wanna get banned. Okay, so when you're at almost 31 million products, you need to figure out a way to niche down inside of niching down. So what I'm gonna do here is at the top, I suggest you start with locations. So I'm going to type in the word Texas shirt, the phrase Texas shirt, and I'm gonna click search. So we're trying to get less than 31 million designs and here we can see there's 26,000. That still might feel very overwhelming and like a lot. What you can do as well is in this little filters button, you can actually extrapolate this out. So I'm clicking over here, filters, and I'm gonna type in product name include Texas shirt. Okay, so I have nothing in the top under search products. I have the product name itself includes the word Texas shirt. And now I can start scrolling through the different listings. Now I've got it sorted on monthly revenue descending, but you could do total sales, for example. So you can see here, these are all time best sellers. And then you can also take a look at the monthly revenue as well. And that could be helpful if you're looking for things that are higher end items and it's a combination of the sales, the revenue, and the total sales that would give you different ideas on what you could sell. So I like this one, monthly revenue. You can see here the price, the very first one here, Texas shirt, $21 price point. That appeals to me because I'm not gonna be competing with low-end shirts. This is probably a niche item. That's a beautiful looking shirt. As I click on it, information is going to open up on the right-hand side. We can see there's 21 monthly sales, and at about $21 a shirt, that's $431 in revenue, total sales 623, and I can view the shop right on Etsy right here. So when I'm on Etsy, I'm paying attention to one very important thing. Oh, here we go, in 20 baskets. People are very interested in this shirt, and I can see why. It's a really nice looking shirt. It's in the state of Texas, it's the shape of it, and then there's different words that are the different locations inside Texas. They have beautiful mock-ups, Remember, mock-ups are always important on an Etsy shop or any print-on-demand site that you're selling your wares. This is a great looking product. So you can see, just by a couple clicks, I'm able to find an idea where I could compete in a niche. One thing that I'd like to point out as well is Everbee will show me how old the listing is. You can see here it says listing age 26 months. That's not really that old. So I sometimes hear people complain, well, the shop is super established and anything they put up is gonna sell. Well, this is a barely a two year old listing and it's already near the very top of the search rankings for this niche. I, I love that. All right, let's try something else here. So under product name, instead of Texas, I'm going to pick another location. I'm gonna pick New York shirt and we'll let the system run. And there's 1300 results. So as I scroll through 1300 results, I'm gonna to go to monthly revenue, $216. I'm also gonna to go to monthly sales. I'll click on that. And we can see here, the one at the top that I really like, it's $27, which is pretty nice. 
too dumb for New York, too ugly for LA. I'm going to click on that. 29 sales. And this is text only. So, I mean, it's a nice looking shirt, but you want to ask yourself, could you make it different? Could you have a similar phrase or could you have something in the same spirit? This is a funny shirt and that's why it's in 20 plus baskets. And I mean, I live in Canada, $37.51. People are willing to pay for a white shirt and it's in 20 plus baskets. That's pretty incredible. Let's see how old this listing is. Eight months. So I want to point out there is room when you're looking in print on demand. One of the reasons I like using Etsy and I like using Everbee is it shows me actual sales and you can, you know, for if, for whatever reason, if you were suspect of the listing, if you're looking at this going, well, I don't really agree or this looks too good to be true, you can view it actually on Etsy. You can see it's in 20 plus baskets. You can scroll down and you can see there's 878 shop reviews. And so you can see, now this is gonna be for all the items that are on the shop, but you can see, is there stuff on the site that this shop is really into and that you're, you know, you, you could like it. So here's another one, too dumb for NY, too ugly for LA. So you can see this is basic text, $27. And as I scroll on down, my husband loved this shirt for Father's Day. So somebody's buying it. This is actual evidence that people are purchasing these products. I love using Everbee because you can look at over 30 million Etsy listings. There's all sorts of stuff in here, digital designs, custom, print on demand, you name it. I'll put a link in the video description below. I highly encourage you to check it out. There's a ton of tools here on Everbee. Highly, highly recommend. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print-on-demand journey.